All right. Please tell me in the comments who believes it was only three and a half pounds. Does she mean, I don't know, 30 pounds? I mean, guys, with all due respect, I'm not trying to rank on her weight. It's not about her weight. There's no way it was only three and a half pounds. No way. Well, good morning, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So I see that Emberlyn Reed is sort of, she's sticking to her um, upload schedule, but she posts pretty late at night. I was in bed when this came through, so uh, yeah, no shot at a quick reaction. <laughs> Anyways, um, I have, I couldn't even watch Jordy this morning because I think he was talking about it. So, um, you know, because I want to form my own opinions, but then I will listen to everybody else. <laughs> Anyways, I'm um, not going to waste too much time. It looks like she gets into, you know, putting a number on how much weight she gained. I bet you she's going to be like, I gained a pound, which is complete BS as we all know it. I am hoping to keep the language down today, but depending on what she says, that might be impossible, but I'm gonna try. Anyways, without further ado, let's see what Miss Reed's got in store for us. So, how much weight I've gained and eat some dinner with me vlog. Alrighty, well, let's see. Hello, hello, welcome to a new vloggity vlog. Um, I just did my makeup and I am watching H3 podcast right now. Ethan is like having a civil conversation with Pearl Davis, which is like this person who has the craziest like opinions on things. So it's funny when Ethan like debates. Yeah, I don't watch. I don't even know who she's talking about, but OK, carry on. I don't know how he does it, especially in front of such a large audience of over 40,000 people at one time, because uh, I don't know. I just don't know how he does it. So I look up to him for that. But yeah, you'll never be like a, a professional YouTuber because that ship is sailed. I wanted to open one of these. Um, a subscriber sent it to me. It's just a little like affirmation for the day. Do you think she puts them back or do you think she just hasn't really used any except the two times she's done it on YouTube? Whatever it may be. And I just feel like they usually fit pretty oh, good, like, like based on how I'm feeling or like sometimes I'll ask a question before I open one. And right now I just want to know, like, how's my day going to go? It's, it's a fortune telling thing. Okay. Failure is the opportunity to begin again more intelligently. <sighs> Henry Ford said that. Oh my gosh. And I always keep these. I hey, Amber Lynn, who was there? Henry Ford? Who wants to guess she has no idea? Actually keep them in my wallet. So yeah, I don't want to throw them away. I just, I love this gift so much. So. So she does take them out. So there's your answer. I definitely fuck with it. So right now in the microwave, I have some of these Morningstar chicken nuggets. Well, they're vegan. They are healthy. Okay. That right there, Morningstar. Absolutely. Because it says vegan nuggets. Good job, Amber. They're veggie chicken nuggets. Oh, and 39% less fat. That's absolutely it. It's, this has like been my fixation lately. I've been obsessed. Four of them is a serving for 190 calories. It's like food for kids, by the way, like four nuggets would be like a child's portion. And then over here, I have a few ingredients for a taco soup that I will be making tomorrow. Oh, so wonderful. if I remember to vlog it, you guys will definitely be seeing that. Okay, so I just got done with my uh, veggie nuggets. So good. Like, I dipped them in a little bit of ranch. It's so good. So I want to give an update on Timu. Oh As you guys know, I bought a bunch of, like, makeup, makeup brushes, da da And the only thing that I'm keeping when it comes to, like, the makeup area of what I bought is this brush. Um, I'm going to actually clean it before I use it. But a lot of people said, do not use the makeup. Um, she had to have strangers on the internet tell her not to use the junky makeup that she bought for $2.10. 140 IQ, here we go. Not only that, this does piss me off because 
even if it was half of her haul, so like $70, and she's crying about money, like, you know, her, her psychiatrist is $200 a month, just to throw it away. I'm cheaply made, something about like rat droppings are in it, and I said, girl, <laughs> you ain't going to catch me using that then. So I had to throw it all away. Um, normally I would not do that. I would like give it to someone else or like Goodwill actually takes used makeup, which is really weird. Whatever. I might not. They do. They probably say they probably take it and then pitch it. Why would any, oh my God, these people, is she really, okay, keep going. I agree with that, but they do take it. Um, they also take used underwear. Uh, yikes. But well, I mean, okay, that if it's in good condition, um, you know, like what underwear would they? So let's say you have, you know, an elderly parent and they suddenly pass on and they have like a drawer full of underwear that's barely been used. Yeah, I'd, I'd donate that. If I don't want to use makeup from Timu, why am I going to have someone else use it just in case like there is something wrong with it? I don't want anyone to get like an infection or a rash or whatever, but I do want to keep this brush. So I am going to clean it um, before I use it because I really like it. I think it's cute. She bought other brushes in that hole too. I, I think I remember seeing like travel size makeup brushes. Ah, oh, she doesn't travel though, so never mind. Um, it's super soft. I like how it feels and stuff. So I am going to clean it and make sure, you know, your girl's going to be okay. I wonder what she was going to use it for. That's a kabuki. Okay, you guys, so this is my P.O. Box pile. I'm going to grab a couple things and open them for you guys. I'm Yay. so excited. Okay, we're going to do this. Oh, by the way, I wonder, somebody mentioned in a comment, I don't know if it was one of my comments or one of the other comments, that um, that gift from Lizzie yesterday or, you know, Monday night was a troll gift about, you know, the smells and such. <laughs> that would be funny. I love subtle trolls. Um, as I stand at my standing desk. So first thing is a ton of earrings from someone named Coco Bear. So I want to show them to you guys. We have toilet paper. Look at how freaking cute that is. Toilet paper earrings. I am dead. Some oranges. Lollipops. These are literal goldfish, like what you win at a carnival or something. It's so cute. Some pink and some yellow flowers, boba tea, some butterflies, and some fried eggs. Like, look how cute that is. Some cherries. I love me a cherry moment. Some clouds and then some, like, paint. Look how cute. Blue and pink gummy bears. Some mushrooms. Some rubber duckies. Strawberries. Bottles of water. Like, how unique is that? That's adorable. Last but not least, some green and pink dinosaurs. Thank you so, so much, Coco Bear. Like, these are going to get some good use. Next, I got some handmade vinyl stickers from Lindsay. So, it's hard to see on the camera, but it's Animal Crossing vinyl sticker. Thank you so much. So this is the last one, and this one didn't have a note, so I have no idea who it's from, but it's an IQ tester. Brilliant. I it Miss 140 IQ, now she can prove it. I think I will be doing this because I personally love doing IQ tests online, and you know what? I think I'm going to give it a go. I've never done like a physical one. So thank you to whoever sent this. So here's my PO box. If you guys want to send please. me anything, the only thing that I request is please do not send me any food. Thank you. Thank you very she much. She didn't fix the dot after the O. I'm Sorry. telling you guys right now to run to Amazon.com oh, run. and get some of this crazy Aaron's thinking putty. This is in the super scrub. It's like a beetle, which even on the back of the tin, it talks about it right here and the beetles right there because of the color this is so waste of money oh good for people waste that like fidget and just like need something to do with their hands like as you yeah you know what what else works getting off your ass and going for a walk mm. you guys know
And by the way, something else I noticed that I also want to mention is like my attention span is really short. It's really bad. Um, but I noticed that when I am messing with this, I'm able to focus better I how much on like, more. I'm just going to let just her an talk. example. Say I'm watching like a YouTube video. I'm able to focus better or like a TV show or a movie. Yeah. Focusing on television or YouTube. That's crazy important guys. Not taking like an online class, you know, doing a sort of online tutorial to learn how to do something. YouTube and television is very important to concentrate. PSA over. So if we're just back now, I cut out a part about her freaking putty. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut this out yet, but do you guys care about putty and hand things? No. Cleaning a little bit in Feline's bathroom. Uh, we do have our own bathrooms, which this apartment is amazing. Own bathrooms. We have an office. Well, that's called a two-bedroom apartment. Okay, kids? It's generally what happens. Two, two. When we do move, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss her for sure. Well, because there's no other two twos available. So, yeah, that's going to be a stretch. Oh, my God. Could you imagine if she found out that there's actually three bedroom, two baths? <sighs> Apartments even. <sighs> that would blow her freaking mind. But I wanted to show you guys because Feline has like a watch collection that she's starting. We both like to surprise each other with gifts so i surprised her with new watches these are like 30 each they're not like expensive by any means but i wanted to show them to you guys because they're so pretty let me just actually take them out so this one's green in the face okay so we're at almost eight minutes and this is all about flagrant consumerism got it piece of it is black and then this one's brown and the face of it is also brown. It was like a coffee color. I just think it's so gorgeous. So this is what they look like. It's so pretty. She loved them, of course. So I also want to talk about, because it was on my mind. Finally. Uh, my last video, how I said that I... We're getting a bathroom talk, guys, so you know it's got to be bad. And it's it's just, I'm pre-warning you, it's our fault. So enjoy gain some weight and I wanted to talk about how much hold on my friend texted me <laughs> oh my gosh she's so funny she's oh in the God. middle of the this is my friend she has a friend holy moly and she's like I don't like your live streams as much because she's like you're not your like you're not yourself and I'm like yeah no I think she's more herself in her in her live streams because she can't craft responses to things that's it that's complete bullshit and what does she surround herself with? I think I had a friend once call it flying monkeys. Like there's just people that surround people and all they do is give them praise. You know? Uh, I know. And she was like, you just seem like you have so much anxiety. And she's like, I like your vlog so much more because you seem more like yourself. And I'm like, I agree. Um, live streams are just like, not for me. I'm not saying on the- Yeah, because she can't think on the fly. That's the problem ever do them again but I just noticed that like talking in front of a bunch of people like live in real time gives me so much anxiety and I'm just not myself at all like sounds like somebody needs to up their dosage of Zoloft what do you guys think authentically why do I look I look so ghosty hold on let me fix this foreshadowing is this better no, no not even close I just do not look this pale in this white in person i promise sure. as soon as i'm back to using my camera again and for some reason what the hell is she wearing too so no i'm not trying to maybe i shouldn't even say this but look how it like bunches here i don't know that's weird isn't i just cannot she looks uncomfortable okay that's like <laughs> short story when my mom saw something that didn't look good on me she said as she was instead of saying go change you look terrible she'd be like you look uncomfortable. And that was my key to say, yeah, better go change. I'll figure out the settings based on like the lights. Cause like every light in my apartment is different. So like some lights, I look like my normal color. Other lights, I look just super pale. I don't know. So anyways, yeah, I was talking about how like I gained a few pounds and people were like, 
why don't you tell us the number you know i wasn't really thinking about it and that is a good point but i gained three and a half pounds that, see so I, I told you oh i gained three pounds are you fucking kidding me oh god i did it i'm so sorry i'm so sorry guys all right please tell me in the comments who believes it was only three and a half pounds does she mean i don't know 30 pounds i mean guys with all due respect, I'm not trying to rank on her weight. It's not about her weight. There's no way it was only three and a half pounds. No way. Sadly, of course, it could have been drastically worse. Let's be real. I just noticed that like my off track now is so much better than like what my off track used to be. So when she fucks up, it's better than prior fuck ups. Got it. Look like. So I'm just like really proud of that. But I weighed in today and I was 524. So it was nothing super drastic, but it was. But now remember, her scale is, I'd say, is it 10 or 20 pounds less than the doctor's scale? I don't remember, but let's just say it's 20 pounds. So that means she's 554 at the doctor's. I don't know, guys. You know, I can't keep this straight. I don't have her weight timeline, but that sounds fishy. It was enough to just like kind of make me realize, okay, realize. you know, we're going down the wrong path here. I'm trying to talk about this with my therapist. Is like I escape. I want to escape bad emotions. Yeah, wait till after you have the surgery and you can't use the food to do it. <laughs> it's going to be a fun times, guys, fun times. Bad situations. And by doing so, I'm escaping with food. And so we're just finding like coping mechanisms to stop myself from alcohol might work afterwards sex addiction she can go into hard drugs afterwards she's got a lot of choices doing that because it's just like i'm over it you got it I'm, you got it you okay just let her finish i'm over it for sure and it's like i was weak this last couple of weeks oh my real color is coming in just a little bit so a couple of weeks she was weak and ate generic takeout and she only gained three and a half pounds. So her failure is a success. Okay, got it. Do you guys got it? I got it. I don't know how it changed or shifted, but <laughs> it's getting a little bit better. And it did it by itself. I don't understand. Whatever. Magic. It's like weak and I, I'm not, you know, full of strength. And I talk a lot about like sitting with the discomfort. Like I can't always do that. And yeah, isn't that funny? I said that last week too. Um, maybe we're on the same wavelength. I hope not. Sitting, <laughs> sitting with the discomfort. <laughs> because ultimately, okay. So you're never gonna have stress. You're never not gonna have stress and strife and all kinds of crap happen to you in life. You're you're just never gonna have it. You just have to get the mindset of pushing through, right? And I mean, I'm sure we've all failed. We've all had, you know, too much alcohol, too much food to deal with. We're sad, we're happy, yada, yada, yada. But ultimately, more times than not, you have to just push through because everybody has crap in their life, okay? Everybody has past trauma. Obviously, hers is worse than yours. So, but... There's nothing you could do about the past. You just have to push it forward. And I'm learning more and more every single day what my triggers are, what- Because you're never gonna be in a world with no triggers. That's where I'm trying to get at. There's always gonna be something, you know, messing you up because you can't control the world. Sorry. The only thing you can do is not give in to your triggers. Creates me to turn to food. And I think as long as I like continue down the path of just like learning, accepting, processing, learning from mistakes, and changing for the better. That is like the ultimate goal here. 6.42. Thank God she shows pictures of her kitty. Hi. Hi. Oh, such a cookie. Yeah, you see all those scars? Again, I'm, uh, okay, she picks, fine. You know what? I pick too, but... Um, they, most of them are probably like, look at it. They're all on like the outside of her arms. She gets them initially, probably by bump, bumping. All right, so it is time for dinner. We have some broccoli, 
some white rice and this is chicken here and it's a that looks like um sesame chicken or it's not orange chicken sauce that Feline made honey garlic that could be honey garlic it's honey soy sauce hot sauce um and some other things some sesame seeds it's probably garlic yeah that's absolutely uber healthy because Feline made it just so you know just like Penny from My 600 Pound Life season two, wontons made at home are 10 times healthier than the ones you buy out in the, you know, and take out. I don't have the full recipe, but maybe one day we can show you. But right now I am about to eat. I am so hungry. I'm gonna, I don't even know where to start. Let's try the chicken. Oh, it smells so good. We take turns back and forth. Like last night I cooked, she cooks tonight. I'll be cooking tomorrow. She's going to make that glorious taco soup. Mmm. So good. Wow. Oh, it's hot, guys. I can't watch her eat. <laughs> so gross. Cooking back and forth with your partner. It's actually really fun. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We've been enjoying it. And I don't know what it is. When she cooks broccoli, it tastes like gourmet. Like, ma'am, what'd you do? So good. Oh. Okay, my favorite time of the day. I don't know. You guys might hate this. You guys might like this. <laughs> Comments. Ugh. So, let me look at this way. 14.4 thousand views. She posted this did she post this uh, 10 hours ago so 10 hours ago not bad 510 comments 349 likes still working a pretty good ratio there um, the fact that you are proud of any iteration of being off track is very telling no kidding <laughs> I was off track but I could have been more off track so I'm proud. It's classic Amber. Okay. Here we go, Amber baby. Sheep mentality, I see. <laughs> it is not only possible, but honorable to be someone who manages to focus on the positive things in life. Amber Lynn is doing her best. And all the steps, small and big ones, are progress. Forget about the haters. Keep on shining, sweetie. Mwah. Yeah. Wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Time to get up. Open your eyes, girl. This is it. Tick, 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 tick. That's your clock. What progress? Come back to Earth. Oh, they're getting in a, like a pissing match in the comments, huh? Yeah, this oi, oli. Otilla Jackson 8711. Am I seeing jealousy here? Yeah, we're jealous. Actually, not gonna lie, I'm I'm jealous of her paychecks <laughs> for sitting around and playing with putty all day. Yeah. Uh, to Amber Lynn, some people are just out to hurt others just because they like to cause issues just for fun. They enjoy seeing other people upset, which is why they write mean comments and bully others on the internet. You are doing so great, and these bullies are in the wrong. Please don't listen to them. Enjoy your life and do what makes you happy. Care package is on the way, sweetie. Okay, so dudes, who is this person? Five subscribers. Does it say when they started it? Let's see. Because, okay, this person's been around a while. Because I was wondering, I mean, it could be a sock account for Amber. Who knows? We got a lot of good comments here. Your true personality absolutely shines in your lives. Oh, no, wait. 
this is an opposite of a <laughs> problem is you can't filter the ugliness that comes out like you can in uploads. Exactly. I wonder if this Jackson person's going to be in her comments. She's got a lot of defenders here. Your true personality shines in your comments too. You're the anonymous bully. Gotcha. So yeah, a lot of back and forth bully, like back and forth in the comments. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Toilet paper earrings, cherries, bottle of water, and eggs. Oof. Our big girl doesn't see the subliminal shade. Yep. <laughs> Amber, I'm not my authentic self in live streams. Everyone. Uh, sis, you are. That meal is so dainty for a hungry, skinny queen. Oh my God, I can't even. Let's go toward here. Oh, yay, earrings that my 12-year-old would wear. How cute. So this one says, how many calories do you need to maintain 524? It has to be a lot. Well, so I tried to watch um, Obese to Beast is talking about Amberlynn again. He's giving her a pass for this lipedema because she said so. Listen, guys, influencers out there, YouTubers out there, I know you don't see me. Don't give this one a pass for any of the bullshit she says, okay? Just don't. She deserves, at this point, no passes. We've seen the real her. We really got a glimpse of how vicious she is and how much she lies based upon her last few live streams. Don't give her any credit. All right, let's look for one more good one. All right, so this is actually kind of a constructive comment. Um, Melan Vans, 6072. So, you were supposed to lo lose four pounds each month, the goal you asked for. And for the first month, you lost three, or was it 3.5? Can't remember. The second month, you gained 3.5. So you're at either zero or plus 0.5, and you're supposed to be at minus eight. And you're proud of this? I'm confused. Yes, uh, Melanie Vans, 6072. We're all confused. Thank you. Literally, or literally, Every, every vlog you're proud and the reason to be proud is that you failed somehow, but it's not as bad as it could be. So if you looked at it from the commenter's point of view, maybe you'd realize why it looks so bad. She'll never do that. You're a bully. Honestly, I'd love to see you say, I fucked up again. No matter how small it is, it's bad. I need to change. I'll talk to my therapist about it because the way you say it, it gives me no hope that you understand the problem and want to actually search for a solution. Amen. And that's why we're all here. It's so frustrating. All right, guys, what'd you think? Um, yeah. Does anybody really believe that it was only three and a half pounds? Does own anybody get angry a little bit at the you know, blatant consumerism, flagrant consumerism, whatever word you want to use about those cheap ass watches. I mean, look, it's like, okay, I collect, I don't know, erasers. Well, actually, I used to collect Pez dispensers, right? Those are seemingly, um, you know, they were cheap when we bought them. But a lot of them I bought, you know, back... 20 years ago, when my kids were little, I used to hang on to the Pez dispensers I liked. You know, and some of them could be worth money now, but I don't think a freaking $20 watch from Amazon is ever going to be worth anything. Not to be all hoity-toity, but people who collect watches have actual, like, watches that mean something in our actual jewelry, but hey, our girls like junk. What else can I say? The last thing I want to leave with is somebody posted a comment that I read this morning about Trina Louise. So I did another video about Trina Louise and I'm going to, no, I'm going to link it here. Sorry. I'm still learning guys. I stink, but, um, she did it right. Right. So she was very large. She was a fashion sort of influencer, had a small following, 
did plus size clothing um, hauls and try-ons. And she, for like a year, was prepping for weight loss surgery, never said anything to anybody, okay? She just did what she needed to do, got it done. And the day she was having surgery, she announced it. And now she's doing fantastic. I'll probably have to revisit her again in the future. But that's the way to do it because by not coming out on Facebook, because I'm sure Trina looks at the comments too, you avoid all of the, you know, oh my God, you screwed up again. Because I'm sure Trina screwed up a bunch of times. So, um, you know, I wish Amber Lynn would figure this out, but then she'd have no followers if she didn't always talk about being proud of her failures. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye!